We've been asked by P. Waits to show how words can go through a veil and a countdown on a wedding counter. So we're going to do this video that we did together and I'm going to give you ideas on the countdown on your video that you want to do for the wedding. Let's jump right in. So this is a very step-by-step -step process that you're going to follow that I do cover in my Canva course at learnwithza.com. You're welcome to go and check out the Canva course that we have. However, you're going to start with step one of selecting your canvas and then changing the background color. So I don't know what color you want to run with. I chose pink because, I mean, it's getting married. So pink made just sense for me. And the next step is for you to create text. So you're going to press T to create text and write the words that you want to use for your video that you would like to have the veil go through. So depending on what you wanted to use. I just felt getting married was kind of nice. So you will decide what words you want to use. So let's go with getting married. That's your step number two. And it depends on how the spacing you want to have on your letters as well as line spacing. I just want to reduce the line spacing and make that a little bit together and then make the text big and bold so that it fills almost the canvas. Next, we're going to change the color of your letters to whatever color you want. So I like pink. I told you I like pink. So let's see if we can get a, a sweeter pink. This pink is nice. Then very important, the next step is for you to create the effects of a hollow on your text that you want to create. So we're going to create a hollow text like that. And we are going to duplicate the text and put them aside. So we're going to duplicate them and just move them out of the way. Once you have the true text that you've created, the next step is to have your veil or your video that you want to create. So you're going to go back to your elements and you will search for veil or bride. It depends on what kind of video. You could also be using your own video that you've recorded. So it's up to you. I found this beautiful young lady when I was looking for a veil. This young lady. So you click and you add her on your canvas and she's beautiful. It's over there. If you don't have Canva Pro, then use Pixabay to go look for a video that you could use. Uh, there's plenty of content that's free, that's available, that you could. Mixkit.co has videos. Pixabay has videos as well. Once you've selected your video, you're going to click on Edit Video because we want to remove the background of the young lady. For background removal, you could use CapCut. You could also use Unscreen.com or you could use Capwing.com. I'll link them in the description below. Those are the other websites that you could remove video backgrounds. I also have a video that I did for Capwing that I'll also link in the description below. Anyway, so now the young lady is with us and she has a veil. We're going to just make her a little bit bigger and align her to the design. So let's have a look at how it is flowing like that i'm very happy with that so your next step is to add text on top of the video so layers on canva are very important when you're doing something like this so that means we're going to get our extra pair of text and we're gonna add it on top of the video so when you select the text you're gonna click on the text itself and go to layers or you could go to position and you want to see where is where the text that you have selected and these texts are on top of the video we're happy with that so we're gonna just move them and align them to be completely the same as the text that we've added in the first layer in the first layer so I don't want her face to be covered with a G. I want her face to be shown. I also don't want the M to be on top of her. I want 
the full body to be shown. So I'm going to take off the M. So the other thing that you could also do is maybe take off the merit completely and just have the veil when it when it comes to the bottom part of the design. It, it's just nice. It's on top of married or um, married, but it's in between getting. It's just an interesting design that you could come up with. I added stickers that are found on stickers as a just by the way we are in love. And the last thing I want to show you is the wedding countdown. We're not going to create a video because one video, one idea. However, you could go and search for wedding countdowns. When you do that, Canva gives you 66,000 templates that you could adjust and tweak and make them your own. I loved this one that you could find, tweak and edit and make it your own. There's different kinds of one that you could have a look at and see which one speaks to you and you can edit and use it for your design. I do have a Canva course at learnwithza.com that has 52 lessons that are bite-sized that's available for you. So head over to Learn With Za, purchase the course and support my course. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I will see you on our next video.